is up guys, Levi Peterson here back at it with another YouTube video. Today's video is going to be a fun video, we're going to talk about the top 5 macro algaes for your reef tank, your refugium, your macro algae tank, pretty much any salt water tank except for cold water and there is some macro algae that can grow in colder water too. Um, before I get into the top 5 macro algae, I'm going to show you if I can, I got a 5 gallon macro algae tank. I'm going to flip the camera on in a second and we're going to show you what kind of macro algae I have in here at the moment and what I plan on doing with this tank. So as you can tell this tank is very new and macro algae you have a little more leeway with throwing it in a new tank this cycled for maybe about three or four hours which is definitely not enough time for fish or anything because it probably has a little bit of nitrates and a little bit of ammonia. I will test it tomorrow morning just like I do all my fish tanks. Now in here I got I think six different types of macro algae. I am not sure on the type, of, that's more of a plant than any macro. I am not sure on that type of macro or plant. I cannot recall the name right now. We got some sea lettuce up front, some chato. We got some red Garcia algae and some sword uh, blade plants, which is the exact same stuff right here. This is on a plug too. This is just a big mass that's growing really well. And then right there, we got some dragon's tongue or dragon's breath whatever you'd like to call it um there is a different type of macro i have growing on this little piece of rock and that's why i threw it over here it's not chato it's this really thin stuff that i'm really not sure what it is um i will have more macros in the future i'm going to start growing some uh mermaids plants some shaving brush algae along with some blue hypnia macro algae which is one of the most vibrant macro algaes there is in the world other than the Dragon's Breath and the Red Garcia. And there's lots of other macros out there that are very colorful. Especially the Great Macro Algae. If you ever look that up, that thing's really cool. It's like this purple macro. And I may try to get that in at some point also. But we've got some Blue Hypnia coming in. That will actually deserve its own video. Um, blue Hypnia is one of the rarest kinds. And it hardly ever comes in in the aquarium hobby. But when it is in, uh, it, it goes up pretty quick. And then we have to wait for another big shipment to come in and wait for it to be aquacultured or pretty much anything um i know ora actually aquacultured it and grows it constantly so that's what i want to do here grow some and sell it and everything um along with these other macros too a lot of this stuff i actually grow out of my sumps um i grow the salt blade and sea lettuce in here and there's some more different macros in there i'm growing and then i got some dragon's breath right there growing and there's a couple other pieces scattered throughout this tank. Um, other than that, we're going to get to the top five macros I recommend um, to put in your refugium or even your reef tank or just a strictly macro tank. So let's go ahead and get to it. Coming in at number one, we have one of the most common macro algaes in the aquarium hobby. Now this is simply Chato algae. A lot of people use this in refugiums, reef tanks, and saltwater tanks in general to help with phosphate control which all macro algae can be used for and like i said this is just number one simply because it's common and easy to maintain coming in at number two we have sea lettuce this can actually be eaten by the human like most macro algae can this is actually a little more common to eat and everything but like i said earlier with the chato it helps with phosphates and helps naturally filter your tank Coming up next, I really wanted to add a plant into this. Now, this isn't actually very common in the hobby, and its close cousin, the mermaid plant, is a little bit more common than the shaving brush plant. The shaving brush plant is a really cool plant to have in the hobby, and a lot of people really don't know of these things, but they are awesome to have in your reef tank. Adds a little bit of green coloring, and you have a plant in your tank, so it's always fun to have plants in your tank. Coming in at number four, we have Dragon's Breath Macro Algae. Now, this is one of the most vibrant in the aquarium hobby, and it grows really quick, and it's awesome to have. If you don't have much money, this is definitely a supplement to add to your tank instead of corals. It grows really quick, and it actually has lots of color. Coming in at number five in the final macro algae, Blue Hypnia Algae. This is definitely the most vibrant, well, I mean... Considering the dragon's breath, this can actually be more vibrant and way more colorful. Obviously, it's blue, and not many people have this. It can tend to be rare, but it's highly sought after in the aquarium hobby. So, guys, I pretty much did what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you some top five common 
uh, not necessarily common, but just cool macro algaes that you can use in a refugium. And let me tell you, there is thousands, and I mean thousands of more different kinds of macro algae out there. You have the saw blade, which I showed you in here, red Garcia algae, um, and there's lots of different kinds of plant. The mermaid's fan plant, that's always a fun one to have. Um, and there's Hymalidia, I'm not sure about if I'm pronouncing that right. That's always a cool plant. And there's just lots of other different plants out there. You got the uh, grape macro algae plant, that's always fun to have. There's just lots and lots of different colors out there, lots of different shapes and sizes, and um, some are a little bit actually more hard to take care of. Shaving brush plants and a couple of the more not as common macro algaes actually tend to require a little bit more uh, requirements, obviously. Um, blue hypnia actually. Um, if you don't take care of it just right, it can actually turn brown and kind of ugly, and it doesn't look as cool. It, it has the same properties and everything, but you have to have decent lighting, and you want to keep your tank well maintained to maintain the blue hypnia color. Um, same with the shaving brush plants and mermaid fan plants. You want to keep your um, nutrients and everything, your water, as pristine as possible. Now, you do have a little bit of leeway. They are plants, and they can handle a little bit more than coral and fish and stuff like that. But like I said, I try to keep your tank well maintained. They don't require as much as fish and corals and everything. So they're really actually nice to have. Um, honestly, I'd like to see more people actually kind of do something like this. Now, I actually haven't escaped this tank yet. I'm just kind of starting to grow these little frags of these macros out. Um, I, re I would really like to see more people actually turn like 75 gallon tanks into full on at macro algae tanks. Um, not many people do that simply because they don't really know that there's actually thousands of different kinds of macroalgies out there. Um, like I said, I would really have to see that more often from people because um, you can actually do lots of things with macroalgies and like I said, it's cheaper than coral. Yeah, you don't have all the different varieties and stuff, but there is plenty of variety in this blue hypnia, red Garcia. You got just about all the different colors there is. Um, other than that, most of them are easy to maintain, like I mentioned earlier, except for a couple of little more not as common plants and macroalgaes. Um, I will have more, I will actually have blue hypnia algae coming in this weekend, and really excited to start kind of fragging that off a little bit. Um, if you're interested in any of the blue hypnia or anything, or any of these macros in here, let me know. Um, I would like to grow these out a little more, but if someone's really interested, um, I will have these for sale pretty soon on my website. Other than that, don't forget to be the fish and get outdoors. We will see you on the next video on Friday. We'll see you next time.